Forget what you heard. The AI takeover is already disrupting jobs and careers in tech product development, and that will continue and transform the area before affecting other careers that seem more obvious. The reason is simple. Disruptive tech is applied by the builders first. If you work in tech engineering and product development, your job is about to get a major glow up for the better or be quickly retired. This episode is a cheat code for you to land on the better side of that divide. I am Marcio. I've led little startups and large tech organizations, most recently at Google. I've been through multiple tech disruptions and I know the playbook. So let's get into it. Welcome to Cavers Cast. I had a front row seat to the internet revolution and here is one lesson that is crucial to your career in product development. Technology adoption starts closer to the source, not where it makes logical sense. Think about it. Independent open source developers join forces to outcompete billionaire corporations and build the software that runs the web today. That revolution happened almost immediately after the internet became broadly available. It took a decade or more for the internet to affect other areas of work. That happens because the builders, in this case the engineers building the internet, use the technology to solve their own problems first. AI is no different. Your career in product development is the first one to be remade in the AI era. And that happens now. Stick around to the end when I'll give you the non-negotiable actions to survive the disruption and thrive, but let's first level set on the current roles in product development. Part 1. Product development in 2025. The main roles in tech product development are engineering, product, project, and product marketing. It is a four-part harmony. Let's break down each of those areas one step further. Engineering. These are the domain experts building the parts of the product. Software developers might focus on the front or back end or be full stack. Functionally, some might focus on coding, testing, or delivering the product. For products that materialize as physical devices, like smartphones or networking equipment, we have hardware engineers working on electrical design, PCB layout, mechanical, and manufacturing. Product managers, PMs, own the why and what of a product. They are the customer voice, setting the strategy, prioritizing features, and making sure everyone is aligned to the big picture goal. The product marketing manager or PMM is often the PM outbound twin, focusing on competition, positioning, and how to sell the product. Project managers, they own the when and the how much of the product. They are the communicators, the organizers, managing timelines, resources, and clearing roadblocks. Program managers or PGMs do the same, but coordinate across multiple projects that all need to ship together. The exact job titles in product development depend on company culture and size. In small companies, the engineering manager might act as the project manager and the PM and the PMM roles might be within one single person. In large companies, you might have a program manager coordinating across multiple projects. Part two the AI takeover and impact in product development roles. Starting with engineering, if you are a cut and paste coder, your days are numbered. AI is automating that. You need to climb the value stack and become the system architect coordinating AI coding agents. If you are studying or training, pivot back to the science in computer science understanding complex architecture, and mastering AI coding tools. Your skill is no longer writing code. It is telling the AI what to write. Project and program managers are at the greatest risk. Task breakdown, resource assignment, 
performance monitoring, it's all automatable. Let's be real, most coordination meetings are not needed and can already be run by an AI. The human role here shifts the entire to people leadership and removing roadblocks, not scheduling. Product managers, PMs are the safest for now. AI tools will handle the data, reporting, and repetitive tasks, but the core job of mapping human problems to technical solutions and prioritizing the right thing, that remains inherently human. You are the bridge. AI is just your best in you too. Conclusion and call to action. Here is the advice I have for you. Number one, master the technology. Stop learning the next language. Learn how to use LLMs to automate 90% of code writing. Become the disruptor, not the disrupted. Number two, climb the value stack. Repetitive tasks will be automated. If you code or do PCB layout, become a system designer. Automate your current job and promote yourself. Number three, Prioritize concepts over operating skills. Tools will change, the concepts do not. Favor deep concepts and high level knowledge, that's what makes you adaptable. And number four, lead, don't just manage. Coordination and execution monitoring is now an automatable process. Invest your time in leadership, communication and inspiration. Those are uniquely human skills. I hope this encourages you to proactively pivot and update your product development skills. Old role, coder, new role, architect. For the next Cabris Cast Watch, I suggest this video discussing the need for both top-down and bottoms-up thinking when designing a product or launching a startup. I see you in the next episode of Cabris Cast.